Hey everyone, so in today's video we'll be making this sweetheart asymmetrical dress. To start we're going to rotate the dart into the waist. Then draw a line from the bust point to the side. Close the waist dart halfway. And bring them in three quarters of an inch. I drew a circle 2.5 inches around the bust point. Take in the side at half an inch and blend to zero degrees at the bottom. Add 3 eighths of an inch to the left line on each side and 7 eighths of an inch in total to the middle top line. Then add another 3 eighths of an inch from each side of the bottom of the dart uh, hitting the circle um, and then blend those new marks to zero. Cut away the excess and tape the right and left darts closed. Trace the drafted pieces and smooth any bumps. This is important so you don't get any like pointiness going on. And then add half an inch seam allowance. Trace the back block using the side length of the front blocks for the back height. Fold and tape the dart closed and then draw a line angling down to the center back.
cut each piece four times so that you have a lining and a self piece for each. You can use lining or you can just use the same fabric, that's what I did. I ended up using skirt blocks and I've linked those down below. I only made small modifications but you'll see those later on. Pin the front panels right sides together and repeat to the lining. Sew the pieces together at half an inch seam allowance. Pin the cup halves right sides together and sew at half an inch seam allowance. Now pin the lining and the self wrong sides together, it's important, wrong sides, um, then sew along the top at 1 8th of an inch seam allowance. self cups to their linings right sides together and sew along the top at half an inch seam allowance. Next, pin the cups right sides to the front bodice panels and sew at half an inch seam allowance. If you have any troubles lining things up, try using a long, easy to pick stitch before committing to a regular stitch. It'll just be easier to take apart if you mess up. Pin the self to the lining right sides together and sew along the top at half an inch seam allowance. Pin the back panels to the front bodice right sides together and sew a half an inch seam allowance. Cut two one and a half by 18 inch strips and sew them right sides together at a quarter inch seam allowance. I ended up cutting mine to around 15 inches, but make adjustments as needed for yourself. I turn the straps inside out with a tool, but a safety pin works too. The tool's a little bit easier. We're going to work on the skirt, starting with sewing down the darts on the back panels. Pin the dart points and use the bobbin thread as a guide to sew them down. Take the front panels and pin them right sides to the back panels, sew together a half an inch seam allowance.
I cut off the excess on the longer front panel and the width is up to you. I hemmed all the edges that would be visible. Also make sure to finish the edges with a serger or zigzag stitch throughout. Serger or zigzag stitch throughout the sewing process because this fabric just frays a lot. It's really important if you're using this to finish it in some way. You can also use a Hong Kong finish. I think that's what it's called. I can link a tutorial down below. Pin the skirt panels right sides to the bodice, pinning the short panel over top of the other and sew a half an inch seam allowance. Next, I pinned along center back, marking where the metal part of the zipper would end and used a different color for that. So starting from the top with a long stitch and continue with the normal stitch length after the zipper marking. zipper to the seam allowance and sew to only the seam allowance with the zipper foot. So around the outside of the zipper with the zipper foot being careful not to catch any excess fabric from like the front or the sides. trip to expose the zipper. And then sew on the straps, the front and back. I left like a two inch gap in the back um, for the placement of the strap. I sort of tacked down the front panel to the one underneath to avoid it from like flying up. It was just kind of random in spots that when I was wearing it, it would sort of stay down. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next video.